Good morning, Jervis Elementary School. Welcome back from spring break. Happy Monday. So glad to have you back. Hey, we want to start off with the final in the series of Perseverance videos from Mojo. And in that video, Katie was this monster who was a mathematician who her friend Mojo convinced her to take an art class. But it was, it was really hard and she was struggling in class. In fact, in one of her dreams, she met Thomas Mojois Edison, who in Inventing the Light Bulb described to her how hard it was. And there's this dip. Initially, you're really excited trying something new, but then things get really hard and you feel discouraged. And in those dips and in those failures, we can actually learn a lot. And he was encouraging Katie to stick with it, to persevere, even when things were hard. So here in the final of this series of videos about perseverance, let's see what Katie does in her art class. The Big Show. Twas the evening before the big show. Katie was in her room, putting the finishing touches to her painting. After months of hard work, she felt like she was finally escaping the dip. Just then, Katie heard her mum from down the hall. Oh, Katie, how is your painting, dear? Will you be the best at the big show? And just like that, Katie's anxiety came rushing back. She was always the best, but she had never been in the dip before. Could she still be the best? The next day, the whole school gathered in the gymnasium. It was time for the big show. The crowd made their way towards Katie's painting. She had never been so nervous. Until she heard Bruce say, Right on, Katie! And the other monsters joined in. They loved it. Katie breathed a huge sigh of relief. She was still the best. But then, Gabby revealed her painting. And Katie realized she wasn't the best after all. D did you see it? said Mojo. It moved me, Katie. I've never seen anything so profoundly beautiful. But hey, you're not sad just because yours isn't the best though, right? said Bruce. Actually, I'm not sad at all. For the first time in my life, I don't care about being the best. I guess I learned something else from Mojimus Edison. Aha! Well, now we know that one won't work, Katie, said Edison. Wait, how are you so excited, said Katie. You must have failed a thousand times by now. Failed? Ha! said Edison. I'd say I'm just learning new ways to improve. Every bulb is better than the last, my dear. Remember, the most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. time. Whoa! So Edison totally loved the dip, said Bruce. Yeah, said Katie. And I realized something else last night. I love the dip too. I've been so focused on reflecting and improving that all the pressure to be the best just melted away. And now all I want to do is keep getting better. Anyway, I'm going to see if Gabby has any ideas to help me become a better artist. Whoa! That is a pretty righteous attitude, Kate Arena, said Bruce. And indeed it was a righteous attitude. But what do you think? What has Katie learned by being in the dip? Well, if you ask me, that is an interesting question indeed. Perseverance is so important to stick with it, even when things are going really hard. In that dip, don't worry about failure because we can learn a lot from failure, but keep going, stick with it. Perseverance is so important. We have a spirit day this week, but this spirit day is really special. See, on Thursday, we're gonna encourage all students and, and staff to wear the color pink. Victoria Lopez was a kindergartner student in Ms. Vaughn's class. Victoria, beautiful girl with a contagious smile, and such a great joy for life. But Victoria had cancer. 
And cancer is a disease that attacks your body. And Victoria was really sick. In fact, she went through a lot of treatments. But Victoria passed away a few months ago, as many of you know. Pink was Victoria's favorite color. And this Thursday is her birthday, her sixth birthday. So this Thursday, we want to encourage you to wear pink in memory of our kindergartner, Victoria Lopez. When we lose somebody, we miss them. It's important that we talk about them more. We think about them more, not less. So this Thursday, we're going to be thinking about Victoria. We're going to be wearing pink in her memory, celebrating her life. So this Thursday, our spirit day, is to wear pink. With that, would you please stand and join with me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Third and fifth grade students are gonna be state testing starting tomorrow through next Monday for five days. And this test is so important for you to show what you've learned, to show how much you've grown. So we wanna encourage you to be here every day, rested and ready to test on time. And so we're gonna recognize students who are, who are doing that. If you're here as a third and fifth grader for the next five days starting tomorrow, every day on time for state testing, we're gonna have a $5 gift card to give to you next week just to say thank you. Thank you for being here, ready to, to take that test and to show how much you've learned. With that, guys, we love you so much. Hey, have a great week. See you later.